Welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And it is Bolo Day. And today we tell you all the hot things that have sold, uh, why they sold, and what to look for when you're out there. And Mr. Magazine, tell them what to look for. Right. Oh, that's cool. It's a Skateboard Posters uh, Magazine, 1989. I've had this for about four years. Oh, really? And I was asking $56, it looks like, in change. Yeah. Um, getting ten dollar offers, you know, year after year, low ball, and I know it's rare. Yeah, it's complete. I held out, got for about forty bucks for it. So I mean, it was worth holding off for. Yeah, 40, I would agree. Know, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I've, but if you see any type of poster magazines like that, they look like magazines and they fold out. You know, unfold posters, regardless of a skateboard or anything else from the eighties or nineties, I would scarf them up. Right, and, that, and that's not super early for skateboard, but it is early enough for skateboard. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Next up. Oh, wow. 1960, JFK, Richard Nixon, presidential campaign paper lot. Um, so I got a, one of my old employees came back for a job. He was a good lister, and I can give him stuff like this. I, but the easy part for me, to make it easy for him, I got to price it out. So I just, hey, fan it out. Don't get fancy. 50 bucks. End up going for 53. So. It was about 16 items, something like that. So about yeah. three bucks an item. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, whoever bought them can lot those or uh, can break those up and make more money sure. than that. Yeah. But you did it the easy way, and you yeah. got fifty bucks. And it was, it was whoever I got them from. They were all in a bag, and there was a lot of duplicates. So I just put one of each out. Okay. So I could probably do another lot of maybe 10, 12 items, maybe yeah. get twenty five bucks, whatever. But you know, it's the way to do it. Oh, it says lot of seventeen. Seventeen. Right? Okay. So yeah, cool. If I learned how to he, read, that he, would he did count. Help. Yeah. Next up, uh, bought a lot of uh, vintage unopened wax and cellos from a Ooh. friend of mine. They had a partner back in the day, and uh, there was two boxes of 1984 Tops football cello packs. Right. It's got Marino and Elway rookies in there. So I didn't want to sell. They go for about two grand a box. I didn't want to sell for two grand and someone scammed me. So I said, let's break them up because you got some stars on the front or back or something like that. You can get about 100 bucks a pack. And we sold a bunch of them. One had Walter Payton on it from 84. got 200 bucks. So, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of these on there. This one was, a, I would call it a Tom, Zach Thomas from Denver. This one went for 100 bucks. Wow. You know, and then <laughs> Versus showing, 59 yeah, cents He's showing the back. The so, like, you know, if it, in case it is someone good, you can see the team they're on and so forth. If, you know, right. Say it's uh, Denver, Elway. You know, it's going to go for more money. Right, obviously. right. Yeah. Wow. So I got a bunch of those up. Clearing out above my shop where I moved all my kids' toys when they were younger. And I got a good toy lister, and he put this up and got $22.98 for it. What's the size of that? Didn't say, but it's, I'm going to save about 10 inches long. I don't think it's quite a foot. Right. Well, the only yeah. reason I'm asking is because if somebody's out there and they see yeah. this one for twenty three bucks, yeah. are they looking for a tiny little one or so? They're looking for yeah. a, an okay sized one. But yeah. Okay. So over here, he put the. Oh, here we go. See, we've told him many times, and he's listening. So you're there looking you at yeah, about nine, ten, ten, yeah, ten, ten inches. Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, but that helps the people out there that watch this uh, what to look for out there. Yeah. You know, you're not looking for a tiny one, and, and that'll right. definitely stand out at that yeah, size. Yeah, I think the little figures, which we probably have them somewhere, but they're not. It doesn't look like they're in this lot. You know, they could add more value to it if we had it complete. There's probably a few figures go along with it as right. well. All right. Next up, we got a People Weekly. Oh wow! Uh, September 2001, oh. the day that shook America. Um, normally, what do you think this is? 10, 20 bucks, maybe 20 bucks with no mailing label. It came out to an 8.0, which isn't really. Unbelievable. Yeah, the thing is, it's probably the only one graded and that I'm aware of, and went for 200 bucks. I took. Can't argue with that. Wow. So even if it costs 50, yeah, I'm still pay, clearing out well over 100 bucks after grading it. Yeah. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. There you go. Next up, I bought a huge collection of these. Um, are Those these are tough to list. Yeah, these are kind of like German Time magazine, so to speak, right? Yeah, weekly. But German I didn't magazine. pay much for them, and they sell slowly. But again, I think I sold this for almost full price as well. Um, and I don't know any German. I don't know a little German. You know, maybe I used to back in the day, but I don't know. Der any, Spiegel. Any. Exactly. But there you go. If you see them, don't pay a lot, but expect to sell a few down the road and make some money. There, I will say this. They are difficult to list, uh, at least on the older ones, because they are they did, the entertainment section in there, yeah. like Time Magazine has. Yeah. Is a lot of it is based on German movies, and uh, I don't know the German stars. Sure. Which usually, if you get something that has an American section, you yeah. go right to that area right, and you right. put down whoever the Americans are. Sure. 
it's some of the stuff for the 50s you're looking at it, trying to list it based on German p politicians and German <laughs> yeah. stars and you're going I don't uh -huh. have the slightest idea what name I'm supposed to put up and exactly. then they capitalize every other letter yeah. every other word so that you don't know what the people's names are you're going oh, what well, the good thing is he did translate that yeah, solar energy so, translate yeah, that yeah th that's probably why the only reason it's sold I'm that sure. would be true uh, first item I have today Florida Keys. I know you used to spend your time down in Florida all the time. Probably yeah. were King of the Keys. I think that's what they used to call you. Yeah. February 23rd, 1989 events. Dining, shopping, attractions. Uh, this did go for $28 from 2021. Or 1980, uh, listen, 2021. Yeah. It's from 1989. And this kind of uh, highlights what we've said any number of times. List the newer stuff. And, and you got to realize, first off, this is 35 years old. Right. Um, but People walk right by this and don't list this because they're looking for the stuff from the 40s and the 30s to list, yeah. which undoubtedly would be very, very good from the Keys. Sure. But they just walk by the stuff from the 80s and the 90s, mm -hmm. which if you can pick up 28 bucks for this, you're not paying anything close to that at a sale. Yeah. You're picking it up for a dollar or under at a sale. They're yeah. kind of throwing it in type deal. I mean, they may want them for the maps. It says maps in the corner. Who knows? Yeah, who knows what it is. Yeah. They could have... Uh, they could have went down in 89. They went down that way for spring break at some yeah, point. True. Uh, relative of theirs owned a, a restaurant down there. Who knows? Any yeah. number of reasons um, why. And Celia was her name. Hmm. Uh, I picked this up. Uh, did a little bit of research on it as far as where the <coughs> where the hurricane hit and everything. Made sure I put those uh, town names in there as well. Listed the rest of the towns down below as well. Uh, but I did pick this up for a dollar at a sale. You would have seen it in a haul video, as a matter of fact. And it's kind of funny, as I said, you always pick stuff up like this because when there is a, at least back in the 70s and 80s, when there was a, a natural disaster, they would rush a book out. And... Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we see them around here a lot for the southern tier flooding. Mm -hmm. And they sell, mm -hmm. and sure enough, this ended up selling too. And I listed it this year, so it isn't like I sat on it very, very long whatsoever. Nice. Cool. Uh, up next, Riding the Subway with Heidi by Charles Schmidtke, signed soft, soft cover book. Picked this up for a dollar at a thrift store. Tough to buy books at a thrift store because the scanners go through, and they themselves. Uh, a lot of times they'll pull stuff as well if it's good. Mm -hmm. So you've got the double whammy at a thrift store. However, I happen to stop in a thrift store because, you know, where I was at, I go, ah, let me spend a little bit of time. Uh, books like this, the smaller press books like this, are great ones to pick up and check for signatures. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, it was signed, listed in 2024, sold pretty quickly. I paid a dollar for it. I got 20 bucks back, plus shipping back out of it fairly quickly. Cool. So do keep your eyes open for the smaller press books. Check for the signatures. Uh, everybody else passes them by except you. Uh, up next, Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Uh, Hayes Lithographing, who actually is a Buffalo company, so we find a lot of their stuff around here. Um, really, really nice book. Picked up an estate sale. I didn't pay much for it because it is not in the best of shape. Uh, as you can see, it's basically got no spine paper on it. It's just, yeah, in fact, it literally says no spine paper. And the, and the back cover is detached. Hmm. You don't pay a lot for it, but I got $35 out of it. Uh, because it's got the great illustrations in it as well. Uh, nice. Just just beautiful illustrations. Yeah. And the kind of thing that you can pick up at sales, everybody else will walk by because they'll look at the condition and say, it's falling apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. It is. <laughs> uh, up next, that's just a nice, nice looking uh, cover there. Yeah. America's Cereal Foods and How to Cook Them, Quaker Oats, 1894, with the uh, just a nice Miss Liberty on there as well. Um Thirty-four dollars, uh, and I listed it last year. So hmm. keep your eyes open for the nice graphics. Uh, that was one area that back in the day I didn't understand, and I didn't necessarily buy things that particularly looked good because hmm. I, I just it, it wasn't how I thought. It wasn't how I collected. Right. Now I say people are going to like that. I'm definitely going to have to pick that up, hmm. and it's paying off. And this looks beautiful. That's why it sold. Uh, Pocatello, Idaho, Public Schools Diploma, 1914. Sold within a week. Uh, high school diploma from 1914. Take a look at this graduating class. See, I didn't know if you could sell those. I held back. I think I found a couple just because, like, you can't sell a driver's license. So I wasn't sure if, like, a diploma is any different than that. Oh, yeah. yeah cool. No, oh, Good for you. Look at that graduating class. What is that? Ten people? Wow. Ten students? I think I looked the town up, and I think the town has, like, and somebody will correct me out there, but if I remember right, it, it has roughly a thousand people in the town maybe even fewer than that wow. that being said how much pocatello idaho 
things do you think are out there for sale at well, any given well, time? Even this, how they would have made minimum t- ten to twenty, maybe yeah, for the, yeah, the class, teachers yeah. and stuff. Maybe twenty of them. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, wow. it's super rare item there, definitely. Yeah. So I got thirty six dollars out of it, and sure enough, uh, somebody from that town ended up buying it, which is pretty cool. Wow. So it's going going back home. Outdoor Life magazine, July 1944, War Bond, WW2. Uh, I've mentioned it before, and I know you know this, Mr. Magazine. People collect these. If they have the War Bond on the cover, yeah. buy them. People do collect those. Uh, they go into their military collections. So even if somebody's got a pile of the magazines uh, from that World War II era, and they want $5 a magazine, pass by most of them, pick up the one with the War Bond cover. Yeah. You will make money. Nice. I don't. Uh, you, you, you start to worry when you list something rather like that. Uh, San Francisco sightseeing by night, Chinatown after dark, 1967 brochure. It was a different time back then, 57 years ago. Uh, you you worry that something like that could get caught by the AI. Uh, it's been on since 2021. It was not caught. I ended up taking a $20 offer on it. L- not bad for literally a brochure that opens up from yeah, 1967. Nice. Pretty pretty neat item. I think if you word it properly, you're, you're okay. Yeah, I would think so too. But, but again, you never know if they're doing image search at some right, point. exactly. And finally, I showed this in wow. a haul video as well. I picked it up at a flea market and paid eh, probably roughly a dollar for it. It is distressed. Hmm. Uh, White Star Line SS Adriatic First Class Passengers Booklet, July 26, 1911. Uh, the White Star Line is very, very popular. Uh, ended up going for $106.73 plus shipping despite being in that condition. So you definitely do want to keep your eyes open for uh, the White Star Line. They're always very, very popular items. Uh, can't argue with that. Absolutely and not. a lot of people walked by it. Do you know why they walked by it, Mr. Magazine? Because it hit a torn cover. Because of condition. So I'm beginning to figure out that I kind of specialize in yeah. off-condition yeah, things. Look at that. You've heard of Mr. Mint? Yep. I'm going to be Mr. Ford uh, Port Affair. Okay, I was going to say acceptable, but okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, if, if you can hit the like button, we'd appreciate it, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.